Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at multi-step equations applications. So we're going to be looking at some word problems again, but this one's going to be ones where you have to do multiple steps to solve them. So for this first example, it says use the table below to find the number of miles x you need to run on Wednesday so that the mean number of miles ran per day is 4. So we're given this table on Monday, ran 5, Tuesday ran 4, Wednesday we want to find out what, how many miles run, Thursday 2, and then Friday 6. And we want the mean number of miles to be 4. So mean is the same thing as average, and if you recall, to find the average of something, you're going to add up everything and divide it by the number of items you have. So I'm going to add up every from, everything from this table, so I have 5 plus 4 plus x plus 2 plus 6, and I'm going to divide it by the number of items I have, which I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the problem tells me I want this average, this mean, which we just found here, to equal 4. So if you see, all I did was I took the information from the problem to create this equation. And now we can go ahead and actually solve this. So my first step here is I want to get rid of this fraction, so I'm going to, I'm going to multiply both sides by my denominator, 5. Because undo this division, I'm going to do multiplication. And so then I have 5 plus 4 plus x plus 2 plus 6 on the left hand side, 4 times 5, and I get 20. Next, I'm going to go ahead and simplify on the left hand side. So 5 plus 4, I get 9, plus 2 is 11, plus 6 is 17. And then subtract 17 from both sides. And so I get that x is equal to 3 miles. So if I want to average 4 miles each day, I need to run 3 miles on Wednesday. Okay, number 2 says you have 1,200 feet of fencing to make a pen for your horse. Your pen is 3 times as long as it is wide. Find the dimensions of the pen. Okay, so let's break this down a little bit. So dimensions, that means I want to find length and width. And so let's look and see what information we have. So we know that we have 1,200 feet of fencing. Well, that's going to be my perimeter. So you put fencing around the perimeter of your pen. So I have a pen in total all around this pen is 1200 feet. So P is equal to 1200. And then it says that my pen is three times as long as it is wide. So I don't know my width. I need to find that. So I'm just going to label that as W. But I know that the length is three times as long as it is wide. So that means that my length is going to be three times w. Now there's two different ways that you can go about solving it. I want to show both. The first one is to remember that perimeter is equal to two times length plus two times width. And now I'm going to substitute in some information that I know. So I know that my perimeter is 1200, so I'm going to replace P with 1200. I know that my length is really just equal to 3 times my width, so I'm going to replace L with 3W. Two times three W, I get six W. Six W plus two W, I get eight W. And then when I divide both sides by eight, 
I get that my width is equal to 150. And then to find my length, I just need to do 3 times my width, which is 150, to get 450 feet. So that means that my pen for my horse is 150 feet by 450 feet. Another way that you can think through this is that perimeter is also just adding up all the sides, so you could think of it as W plus W plus 3W plus 3W instead. Just add up all those sides. And so go through that same process of replacing everything, and so W plus W plus 3W plus 3W, get 8W. And you still end up with the same thing.